is um, obviously I split this into two parts and so I have since come back to you guys um, so we're going to sp split down and we're going to write a new function now uh, so this function here is going to be message to screen this is going to place it on the screen the, the image on the, of the thing on the screen um, and so yeah so we're going to define um, message underscore to underscore screen um, then we're going to go message color y underscore dis displace equals zero oops sorry equals zero oops, zero <laughs> Jesus uh, size equal equals um, small so that's the standard size and then we're going to do that uh, now we're going to go text um, text surf and uh, we want that to, uh, do we do that oh yeah we did and then we're going to do text rec so those are the text surf surface and the text rectangle okay and then we're going to go text um, uh, now as you can see it's coming up down here but we don't want that we want text underscore objects uh, so this is going to call that function and we're going to pass in message um, we're going to pass in the color and we're going to pass in the size so this is a function that's going to get called um, okay so that's that line now for this line we're going to go text dot wait text rect dot center so this is how we're centering it under the text um, under the progress bar so that the text is centered we're going to go dis display uh, width divided by three sorry two so that's going to halve it and then we're going to go display I need to put another bracket around this. Display height divided by two. Height divided by two. Okay, and closing that. Then we want a plus uh, y underscore display displace, and then we want to blur it to screen. So we're gonna. Um, I'm just gonna put a few more lines in here so I can scroll down a bit further for you guys to see more. Um, okay, and then we're going to go screen dot blit, and we're going to go text surf and text uh, rect. Uh, okay, so yeah, then it's blitting it to the screen, so that's drawing it on the screen. All right. So now this is the heart where it gets harder. This is the main loop that does the all the logic for the uh, progress bar, and so this gets reasonably complicated um, pretty quickly, or, or could do for some people anyway. Uh, so we're going with the while loop for this. So while progress divided by two. So because we have scaled it up from the original design I did, I did divided by two so that I could still have 100 there because I've scaled it up to 200 uh, so I've doubled the size and then if I divide it by 2 it makes it easier to do the calculation to whether it's at 100% yet and then we're going to go time underscore count I uh, couldn't use time because the for the variable name because um, that is already a function in time so time dot sleep wouldn't work um, and so we're going to go for this for this example we're going to go 1 and 1 and then we're going to close it again. All right. Um, oh, hold on. No, I've done that wrong. I should need that there on the outside. Sweet. Okay. And now we're going to go uh, increase. So this is how much it's going to be increasing every time um, that repeats through sort of thing. Random dot rand int. And then it's going to be uh, three, three to 20. Um, I guess we could go 1 to 20 actually percent so it's going to increase by 1 1 to 20 percent every time we, we um, call this loop until it's under a, over a hundred 
Um, so then we want to go progress. Um, we want to scroll down a bit more so you're in the middle. Uh, we want to go progress plus e uh, equals um, increase. So this is adding to the progress um, variable by the value increase is set to on that loop. So say it was set to 20, progress would go from 0 to 20. Say it was 3, the next time it ran, progress would increase to 23 because it would be 20 plus 3. Um, and so on, so on. Keep going. Now we want to screen, screen dot fill, and we want to fill it with black. So this is going to wipe the slate every time we repeat it. So it's going to redraw the objects on the screen, which means that we don't get any overlaps or images showing up behind images. So like if you get text and you get a different text every time, the image is going to be like, you'll be able to see the letters behind it. So say it was 20 and you got 11, the 20 would have two ones through it. Um, and it wouldn't disappear off the screen. That's why we call it the fill, because it fills the screen, makes it blank, and then it redraws everything to the screen again. Um, if you're doing graphical programming, then you probably should already know that. But for anyone who doesn't, that's how that's why it works, or why why we do it, or why it's done. <laughs> uh, so Pi game, we're going to draw the rectangle, the original rectangles now. So this is going to draw a border around um, around the uh, the, the the progress bar. Draw rect. Um, and then we want to go, it's going to draw it to the screen, um, and we're going to draw it in green, because this is going to be the box, the back back box, because um, the border that we have to do, we have to draw two rectangles, draw a green one, and then draw a black one over the top of that, so that it makes the border, as I'm not sure if there's a function for it in Python, well I haven't learnt one, then we're going to go 423 and 223, um, so those are the positions on the screen, and then these are the sizes, so we're going 204 and 49. So that's the width and the height, so the width is 204 and the height is 49. Now we're going to copy this, because we're using this line again, and we're going to go paste, and then we're going to get here, and we're going to decrease this by 2, so it's going to be 21, oh, sorry, no, it's going to be increased, sorry, to 24 and 24 and oh, I think this is right, but this needs to be set to black. Oh, this, yeah, this is the position, sorry, so it's being moved down on an angle by one pixel this way and one pixel this way. Um, so this is going to be black as it's going to be drawing it to the same color as the background so that there's a sort of line around the the, the, the progress bar as you'll see soon um, and then we're going to add this one's going to be 202 so it's going to be sm what, two small two pixels smaller and two pixels smaller this way so 47 now we want to go with an if statement here if progress divided by 2 this is how we're checking if it's at 100 is uh, less than 100 then if we take this draw statement, uh, we'll take this first one because it's already got the green color set to it. Um, we can draw uh, this at 25, so this is now another pixel in from that, that black square. Um, and this one also goes up by 1 to 25, or up by 2 to 25, sorry. And this gets taken down by another 2 to 202. Uh, actually, no, sorry, that's 200, and this one here should be 50, 45. Okay, so now we can take this line, and we want to do an else statement. This is so that we don't get any, don't get it going too long, because that's a problem that I had when I changed it, scaled it up to 200. Um, except with this one, we want to uh, limit it to... Um, this one we want to set to progress, so progress, so it's going to draw it whatever length progress is, um, so if it progresses 1, it'll draw it 1 pixel long, if progress is 5, it'll draw it 5 pixels long, if progress is 50, it'll draw, draw it 50 pixels long, etc, etc. Now we want to call loading, loading, and we want to call pro progress divided by 2 into that. 
So now this is going to call back this function here. Progress is uh, will be whatever progress is divided by two. It's going to print that in here. Um, so that's going to divide it. So say it was 100, it would print 50 because we have scaled it up and that's how that's working. Um, and then we want to flip the screen. So flipping the screen updates it. So it's going to then draw everything and show it on the screen. Uh, so we want to go pygame.display dot flip oh flip oh oh my god flip I'm trying to touch type and that will draw everything to the screen then we want to come down here and go time dot sleep and we want to go time underscore count so that's it uh, now if we go back to the top run this function uh, we don't need to go down you'll see here we have a loading bar that goes up in its percentages it shows the progress in a progress bar, so you can see how far it is, and then it also shows the percentage below it. There you go. And it closes afterwards. Um, now I can't move that over the, um, over the, under the thing, because I can't t use the thing, otherwise it goes in the responsive. But maybe if I run it a few times, it might come up properly under here. No. Okay. But yeah, every time it runs, it'll have a different sequence of numbers going up to 100. It'll also have different things going up because of the randomization that I've used. Um, and so it kind of shows the loading of the actual game sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it doesn't actually do anything. Uh, you will obviously have to work that out. But it's for a visual... Um, representation of how to do it uh, so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um obviously like usual drop your comments below if you'd like to see something specific done in this video or in these videos um and yeah i'll see you next time all right hello there guys um you've obviously made it to the end of the video uh so you've obviously enjoyed it or had to watch the whole thing at least so if you could consider subscribing that'd be a great help to my channel um if you have any suggestions for future videos make sure to drop them in the comments below um, like the video to show your support uh, to me so that I can know whether you like the content that I'm making um, and yeah hope to see you in the